On a day-to-day -day basis, businesses buy goods from suppliers and sell them to customers. And most of the time, customers will receive a credit term. Suppliers will also provide businesses with credit terms as well. What the business owner will want to know is their cash generation cycle or the cash conversion cycle, or we call it net operating cycle as well. This is the period where the business will require financing while waiting for the cash to come in from customers. Now we'll first look at the operating cycle, which is the time needed to convert the raw materials or the inventory into cash from a sale of goods. The operating cycle ignores payment to the suppliers. On the timeline, the business will first buy the inventory from the supplier and they will take some time to sell the goods to customers and customers will be given credit terms. In other words, the company will have to wait for a certain time before they will receive cash from customers. So the operating cycle is equal to the number of days of inventory. In other words, this is the number of days required or taken averagely to sell goods to customers. And then we add the number of days of receivables, which is the average number of days that it takes to collect cash from customers. So we call this the operating cycle. And if you notice here, we did not even talk about payment to suppliers. We then move on to cash conversion cycle or net operating cycle, which is the time from paying suppliers for raw materials or inventory to collecting cash from the sale of goods. So let's say we bring in the payment to suppliers, which is sometime after buying the inventory and before selling the goods. So the time from when we buy the inventory to the point that we pay the cash to suppliers, we call that the number of days of payables. The cash conversion cycle is equal to the number of days of inventory plus the number of days of receivables and we minus the number of days of payables. So the period between the payment of cash to suppliers to the point where we receive the cash from customers is what we call the cash conversion cycle. Now let's take a look at the example. We have number of days of inventory, which is seven days. Number of days of receivables is 30 days. Number of days of payables is 15 days. If I use the formula, the cash conversion cycle will be 7 plus 30 minus 15. So that will be 22 days. Now, how does it look like on the timeline graphically? So from the point where we buy the inventory to the point where we sell the goods, it will take averagely 7 days. And then it will take another 30 days before we will receive cash from customers. So all in total, the operating cycle is 37 days from the point we buy the inventory to the point we receive cash from customers. But we will have to pay the supplier 15 days after buying the inventory. So in between the payment of cash to suppliers and receiving cash from customers, we will have a gap of 22 days. So that is our cash conversion cycle. That's how long the company's funds are being tied up in working capital. So during this period of time, the company needs to finance its investment in operations through other sources. It could be through debt, it could be through equity, or the company may have excess cash that it can use to pay the suppliers, but there will be an opportunity cost. Now let's look at another example. The number of days of inventory is 10 days, and the number of days of receivables is 15 days, and the number of days of payables is 25 days. So using the formula again, the cash conversion cycle will be 10 plus 15 minus 25, and this will be equals to zero. Now graphically, we take 10 days to buy inventory and sell the goods, and we'll take another 15 days to receive cash from customers. So the operating cycle is 25 days. And from the point we buy the inventory to the point where we pay the suppliers, it's also 25 days. So in other words, on the day that we pay the cash to suppliers, we will also receive cash from customers. So in this case, your cash conversion cycle is zero. Okay, so there is no gap in between receiving cash and paying cash. So there is no need for financing. Now in the last example, the number of days of inventory is 10 days. The number of days of receivables is 14 days. And the number of days of payables is 30 days. Again, using the formula, the cash conversion cycle is 10 plus 14 minus 30, and we get negative six days. So how does it look like on the timeline? So it will take 10 days to sell the goods. 
it will take another 14 days to receive cash from customers. So the operating cycle is 24 days. But let's say the supplier gives a credit term of 30 days. So we only pay the supplier on day 30. In other words, this time we will receive cash from customers and then six days later, we will pay cash to suppliers. So that's the negative six days, which is calculated in the formula. For businesses, they would prefer the cash conversion cycles to be as short as possible. The shorter the cycle, the greater the company's cash generating ability and also the less of a need for liquid assets or outside financing. For many companies, the cash conversion cycle represents a period of time that requires financing.